A mother bids farewell to her baby girl. She's a victim of an Israeli strike on the home in Sunatra Rafah in Gaza. The attack also killed 11 members of her family who had gathered for dinner. Our home was bombed at night by Israeli F-16 warplanes. Since the house was small, I was not staying with them. Only women and children were kept in the house, 14 of them. They were all killed. This is a baby girl. What wrong did she do to the Israelis? She died hungry. You can see her holding a load of bread in her tiny hand. She held tight to it, and we could not remove it from her hand. Is this baby girl a fighter? Funeral prayers echo with a grief as families struggle to cope with loss. Overnight, Al-Aqsa Hospital in Deir al-Bala had plunged into darkness because it ran out of fuel. The hospital is the lifeline for thousands of Palestinians seeking medical attention and shelter from the Israeli bombardment. This blackout poses a threat to the lives of many, including premature babies in incubators. And the medical staff is doing all they can to save their patients. This situation is threatening the lives of many newborn babies and many patients. We're trying to work with what we have, but we will have to stop working completely because we don't have any electricity. Outside, the streets of Deir al-Bala have turned into a battlefield. The sound of gunfires marking another day of relentless bombardment. Israeli military operations have intensified across the Gaza Strip with a recent barrage of airstrikes hitting a road linking between Rafah and Khan Yunus. Civilians who are caught in the crossfire do not know where to go to find safety. Tariq Abazoum, Al Jazeera, Rafah, southern Gaza. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.